Okay, here is my anodizing line. It's all set up, ready for the first run. Currently, the way it's set up is down at this end, here are some test pieces that I'll be using to test the system on. And here is the first, basically a cleaning station. This just uses simple green and a scrub brush. Clean it off as best I can. Then what it'll do is it'll move to this next spot, which is heated to um, 140 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a commercial degreaser cleaner, and it's warming up right now. Next after that, we'll be actually going into the anodizing bath here down at the end. And as you can see right now, here's this bar that the pieces will hang from using uh, these titanium uh, wire clips that I've bent to uh, hold these things uh, electrically. They'll be attached to these screws. And you see here it's uh, going over to a power supply. This is constant current power supply. The positive is going to the anode right here. Negative is wired to two cathodes on either side, which are actually lead plates uh, or some sheet lead. And the foaming you're seeing right now, this is actually sulfuric acid with something called a uh, mist uh, suppressant. Basically, it's a thicker liquid on top, kind of an oily looking stuff that goes and keeps down the amount of mist. And then Inside here, you can see the blue uh, thing is just an air hose that's uh, hooked up to an aquarium pump, provides some simple education. So, uh, once it's actually done in there, the time is dependent on the number of square inches of the actual piece. Then it's going to come over here to the dye bath. This will be um, doing just straight black dye, two gallons right there. That's going to be heated at 140 degrees. And then finally it'll be uh, go into this which is heated to 190 degrees. This is actually a uh, nickel acetate that's going to be the sealer that actually seals the pores after it's complete. So this is uh, and right here is just basically some distilled water for rinsing off pieces. Got a couple buckets down here. This is bucket's going to be for when I bring it out of the acid bath. So I'm keeping the acid separate from everything else. And on the other side, there's a separate uh, bath of just straight distilled water for rinsing things off. That will be used after the initial cleaning and degreasing. So... Getting ready, I've got about five different parts that have been set up, uh, have either been uh, polished or matte finish. Uh, I'm going to be doing some testing to see how those all turn out. So, getting started now and uh, waiting for things to finish heating up. Okay, the first parts have been cleaned and now they're sitting on a titanium rack, uh, just basically titanium wire that's bent. And there's the first piece I'm going to do, and then there's the second piece, which is this right here. So that is coming along pretty nicely right now. They're nice and clean. They br make the uh, what they call a water break test, where basically when you go and pull it out of the water or squirt water on it, that you won't see <clears throat> any beading of water at all. It should be a smooth sheet of water across it. That's an indication that there's no oils or any contaminants on the surface at all. Uh, right now, waiting for the degreaser to finish heating up. It's uh, right around 125 degrees. Got to get it up to 140. So that's the next step. It'll go in there for uh, about two minutes. Uh, and once it's done there, rinse it off and then it goes into the anodizing bath which is sitting there ready to go so that'll be the next step in the process uh, also the reason the, another thing is that th from this point on basically once I put it on the wires it doesn't touch human hands anymore the oils in your hands will basically stop the anodizing process and um, so you have to be careful with that so getting started and moving along the first part is now in the bath 
and acid bath and I calculated it out about 18 square inches which comes out to 1.67 amps for 60 minutes uh, to get a one millimeter or a one one thousandth of an inch thick anodizing layer so it's now in the bath it's kinda hard to see but it is actually foaming you see there get the bubbles around it's hard to tell right now but it is foaming and so it looks like I got a good current going through it so We'll let this sit for an hour, and in the meantime, I'll start heating up the other two uh, containers, the dye and the sealant. Okay, test piece number one is in the dye bath. It's only been in there a couple minutes, and you can see it's already pretty black looking. So we'll have to find out whether or not that's actually sticking or just not, or, or, or not. Uh, kind of wondering a little bit because I didn't see a lot of bubbles coming up off that piece itself. There were some, but not a lot. And it could be that there's not enough dissolved aluminum in the sulfuric acid yet. Apparently you have to build up a little bit of layer, a little bit of dissolved aluminum in there. So this may have to go back in for some more time. Uh, in the meantime, the sealant is warming up. Uh, slowly getting up there to temperature and I've gone and put another test piece of metal in here right now I've got the agitation turned off the air agitation so you can kind of see it down there it looks uh, like I'm getting bubbles off of this one which is a good sign so uh, those bubbles are hydrogen bubbles that I uh, obviously need some ventilation for and I've got an open window right here with a fan blowing out. In the future I'll probably put some type of a hood on here with a dryer vent hose so I can actually blow it out a little bit more directly. Uh, in the meantime, the big thing I'm waiting for now is the dye penetrate. Since I'm going full black on this, uh, I can leave it in there pretty much as long as I need to. And then uh, as soon as it's done, or actually what needs to be done is as soon as the sealant itself is actually up to temperature 170, 190 degrees, then I'll be ready to actually seal the piece and we'll go from there. Okay, time to get caught up. Uh, got it going ahead. Uh, the sealant is going and right now the piece is down in there, the first piece, and it actually it's looking pretty good. Let's see, fish it out to to look at it actually it's down there on the bottom so but okay well I'll fish it out later but it's uh, looking quite good and now I just fogged up the lens all right uh, well, I'm now sealing the second or not sealing but doing the second piece right here this is a just a test piece that I have so let me put that back in it's actually looking pretty good too and in the bath I've got the third piece, I've got the air agitation off and this one it might be a little bit easier to see some of the bubbles coming off of the piece so as it's anodizing and right there you can see it's going at 3.7 amps a little over 16 volts I actually want to dial that back down a little bit so it's about 15 volts There we go, 2.9 amps. <clears throat> so it's going quite well. Um, next thing I'm going to do now is I actually have gone here. This is that simple green solution. I've taken quite a few of my parts and put them in here, getting them cleaned up, ready to go. So those I'm going to start putting those through this, the system. This particular time is going to be all one color items. This will be the all black stuff. I don't have an extra pot to put a second color yet so that's something I'll have to do next so come back uh, in a little bit and show some of the results when I'm uh, what what they look like when they're done and out of the of the pots well here it is this is the first part completed 
and you see it's a really nice black color uh, it turned out pretty nicely I was surprised <laughs> to get this much uh, well successful on the first try so uh, I still need to figure out how to anodize such that this little cavity area will be a different color that uh, will involve some masking that I haven't tried out but I'm going to continue to run some tests I'm right now I'm sealing a piece right here this is another test piece this actually is a uh, test camera mount for underwater camera that I'm uh, working on and uh, that's just a one that didn't turn out right but I have the real one is actually right down here ready to go into the anodizer just as soon as it uh, finishes up the current piece so going to keep on going and I'll stitch things together here and create a video for the uh, forum.